Hello, it's Leslie Feitmaster, and welcome to, day, to today's class. We're going to do some back bending, and I'm going to start on blocks. The lower block will go right at the bottom tips of my shoulder blades, just about halfway down the back. It's where, if you happen to be a lady, it's where your bra strap goes. And then the other one, I'll have up higher to rest my head on. Now we can start in this position. If that seems too intense, move them both down one notch. If you want a bigger opening, move the one underneath your head down a notch. So take a few moments to get situated. And once you are, create your intention for your, for your practice or create a dedication. And then inhale and reach the arms overhead. Hold on to your opposite elbows or wrists and let the arms just hang by the ears. If that is a little too intense, then keep the arms by your sides and set instead. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have my soles of the feet together, knees apart. If that's comfortable for you, you can do that. Otherwise, you can have your legs straight or feet on the floor. Change the cross so the other forearm is on top. And then again, allow the arms to just hang down by your ears. And then let's release the arms and bend the knees, feet onto the floor. Press yourself up off the block. So I put my hands by my hips to do that and put the blocks off to the side and then lie onto your back once again. Line up your heels underneath the knees as you lie down and inhale, lift up your hips, keep your belly pulled in, low back, mid back, and then exhale, lower back down. We'll do this a couple of times. So press into the heels, inhale, lift up, lifting your hip points up towards your lower ribs exhale and lower down we'll add our arms so as you inhale and lift up arms reach overhead in line with the ears palms facing each other exhale and slowly lower back down once again press down into the heels inhale to lift reach the tailbone toward the backs of the knees as you exhale lower down slowly and then roll yourself off to the right and with your left hand press yourself up to seated and then we'll come onto our hands and knees line up your wrists under your shoulders knees under hips inhale bring your chest forward so from the place where the block was try to move from that place exhale and round the back inhale so from the bottom tips of the shoulder blades bring your chest through the gates of your arms and as you exhale Press away, pull the ribs and belly in and up. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, tuck your tail and round your back. Then bring your hands about a handprint in front of your shoulders. Tuck your toes, keep your knees bent in downward dog. So try and create some length through your spine. Then reach your right heel toward the floor, keeping the left knee bent and then switch. And we'll bicycle the legs a couple of times. Arms are shoulders distance apart, the feet are hips width. Keep the arms and ears in line, bend both knees again, stretch back, and then straighten the legs any amount. You can keep the knees bent and keep the spine long if you like, if you've got tightness in the hamstrings. Your outer upper arms triceps spin back. Inhale, lift the right leg up from the inner thigh. Exhale, step it up by the right hand, take the left knee to the floor. Let's keep the back toes tucked under, and then we'll sink the hips forward into a low lunge. Stretch up through the arms, pull the front ribs in, lengthen through the low back. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms around in a circle. Exhale again, bend the arms, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms back up, palms facing each other. Exhale and open through the chest. Step back into plank from here. Take the knees down to the floor or not, lower to the belly. As you inhale, come into a little cobra, peeling the chest up. Hands are pulling toward the feet. As you exhale, back to the knees, tuck the toes into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, we'll lift the left leg back and up again from the inner thigh. 
Exhale, lightly step it up next to the left hand. Take your right knee to the floor, pulling the left hip back. Pull the belly in as you sink the hips forward. Back toes remain tucked under. Then stretch up through the arms, triceps, spin forward, inhale. Exhale, face the palms to the front, it's like you're scraping elbows on the back wall, sweep the arms around. Inhale up. Exhale, expand through the chest, right where that block was in the upper back, try to open up from there. Inhale, arms reach. And again, exhale, keep the ribs in as you move through this. Then step back to plank and knees up or down, chaturanga again all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, hands by low ribs. Inhale, little cobra, or you can press up higher. Make sure all 10 toenails press down the inner thighs, spin up tailbone reaches to heels. Now tuck your toes, press up to plank, knees up or down, and then lift the hips back into downward facing dog. Again, arms and ears in line. Find a spot to gaze at. So great gazing between your feet or your knees. And just check in with your breath, ujjayi pranayama. Look forward, step or hop your feet up. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press through the feet. Come up with a long spine as you stretch tall, ribs in. Exhale to Samastitihi. So we'll find our Tadasana at the front of the mat. Close your eyes, take your palms together in front of the heart, just feeling the weight in your feet. And try to get equal, steady balance in your feet. Base of the big toes, the little toes, the inner outer heels. Then inhale, open the eyes, sweep the arms up. Exhale and hinge from the hips to fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and step back into plank and lower chaturanga knees up or down. Inhaling upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, lift the hips downward facing dog, stretch back. Pull the front ribs in as you find that length through the spine. The outer upper arms triceps are spinning back. The inner upper arms biceps spin toward the front. Long smooth breaths in and out through the nose. Look up, bend the knees, either step or hop your feet up. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway up. Exhale and fold. Press for the feet, rise up as you inhale. And then exhale, samastitihi. Inhale again, circle the arms up. Exhale and fold over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back. If you float back, land in chaturanga with bent elbows. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. Spin your inner thighs back as the heels reach down. Now inhale your right leg back and up from the inner thigh. This time we'll bend the knee and open up the hips, stretching the hip open. Take a breath here. And then take the leg back to center, look forward, step it right in between the hands, right in the middle. Spin your back heel down, inhale for warrior two. Line up your front heel with your back arch. Make sure your knee is right over the ankle. Drop the left arm, reverse your warrior. Keep bending your front knee. Keep reversing, now straighten your front leg, reverse triangle. As you inhale, set up for triangle. If you have a block, you can get it handy by the front of your mat. I like to use a block here. Hinging from your hip crease, reach out and down, right hand to the block or a shin. Reach through the left arm, or you can have your hand on the floor. Then reach the left arm forward in line with your left ear. Now sweep it down toward the front and sweep it behind your back, either resting at the low back or hook it onto your thigh, rolling the top shoulder open. Bottom ribs coming forward, spin the top ribs back, then look down, bend the front knee, take your right hand six to 12 inches in front of you, pinky toe side of the foot, floating the left leg up. That's why I like the block for this. I love it for half moon pose, gives me lots of space. You can stay with that or bend the left knee, reach for the pinky toe side of the foot and stretch it back into Chapasana. Nice stretch for the front of the thigh. Then releasing slowly, we'll land in warrior two. Heel to arch and then straighten the front leg. So I'm going to use a strap. This is a little infinity strap that somebody gave me that owns the company. Inhale, lengthen the spine and reach your right arm up. 
and left arm out, thumb down. Sweep the arms behind you. If you can't reach, that's when a strap comes in handy. You can hold a strap, you can hold onto your shirt. Spin your right tricep forward here and roll the left shoulder head back. On an exhale, hinge from the hips to come forward. And this way just gives me a little extra space if I use a strap. Keep lifting the shoulder head of the left arm and the right tricep still spinning toward your ear. Firm the legs, outer hips draw in towards center like you're holding a big beach ball between the legs. Take an inhale to come all the way up and then exhale, release the arms. And we'll turn the right leg out, bending the knee warrior two just for a breath and then exhale, step back to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale, press to up dog. Exhale, stretch to down dog. Inhale the left leg up and we'll bend the knee and open up the hip here. Taking a breath, try to press evenly through the arms and shoulders. Then square off the hips, look forward and lightly step it up between the hands. If it doesn't make it, just pick it up, put it there. Inhale, warrior two. Be sure your knee is over your ankle. I wanna keep the knee safe. And lift up through your back inner thigh. Press to the outer edge of your back foot and then drop your right arm reverse, side stretch. Bend into the left knee a little bit. Now straighten it, keep reversing, reverse triangle. Then inhale to come up, hinge forward from the hip crease, take the left hand down to the block, shin or floor, and reach up through the right arm. Shoulders in line with each other, try to get length through the spine. Inhale, reach the arm forward in line with the ear, and then exhale, sweep the arm down and bring it behind you, either resting at the lower back or reach around, hook it to the thigh. Either way, try and roll the top shoulder back. So we'll keep this half wrap if you can. You can always release it. Bend the left knee, take the left hand about six to 12 inches in front, float the right leg up. Make sure the left hand's on the pinky toe side of the foot, otherwise it's really hard to balance. And then either stay with this or bend the right knee, take the pinky toe side of the foot and press back. This would be another place where you could use a strap. Just pressing back here. And then slowly, slowly, we make our way back into warrior two. Take an inhale. Straighten the legs, feet to parallel. Now the left arm up first, face the palm to the back and palm toward the upper back and then right arm behind. Holding the strap or clasping hands or hold your shirt. Roll your right shoulder head back. Spin your left tricep forward. On your exhale, hinge from the hips, coming forward into Prasrita Padottanasana with Gomukhasana arms. Draw the outer hips, inner thighs toward each other. Keep lifting up through that left shoulder, through that right shoulder head, excuse me. Inhale to come up and release. We'll turn the left leg out again to warrior two, breath in, exhale and step back through chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up, exhale, stretch all the way back. Nice long spine in your down dog. And now right leg up again. Exhale, step it through. This time, we'll stay on the ball of our back foot. Reach up tall. Bend the back knee, drop the tailbone down, keep all of that, and then straighten the leg. Stretch up tall through all four sides of the waist. Lean forward, hook your left arm across for prayer twist. As you inhale, create length through the spine. As you exhale, maybe twist in a little bit deeper. Then inhale back to center, stretch tall. And exhale, we're gonna take the back knee to the floor, interlace the fingers and sink forward. Draw the right hip back, then press to lift the back knee. So tuck the back toes, exhale, lift the knee up, inhale, lower it. Try to keep the hips as low as they are. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Reach up nice and tall here. Reach for the foot. If you can't reach the foot, you can grab your strap 
and loop it onto your foot and then drop forward. You can just bring it right forward or you can swing the elbow out to the side and lift the elbow up. You could hold the strap with one or both hands. This is Ekapada Raju Kapatasana. I didn't even know this was gonna happen, but then when I got the strap there, I was like, oh, this would be fun. Make sure that your right knee does not go past your ankle. And then step back into plank pose. Chaturanga, then inhale, pressing to upward facing dog. Exhale, stretch all the way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. As you exhale, step it all the way up by the left hand, stand the ball of the back foot. Rise up as you inhale. Bend the back knee, drop the tailbone down, lift up through the hip points. Keep all of that, all that length, and then straighten the back leg as much as you can. Stretch tall through all four sides of the waist, arrow straight arms. Take a breath here. Front ribs are pulling in, the back ribs are lifting up to create length. And then exhale, hover over that left leg, bend the right knee across, or right elbow across, sorry, and press the left hand for a prayer twist. As you inhale, create length in the spine. As you exhale, widen across the collarbone. So right where that block was in the beginning of the class, try to move the shoulder blades forward from that area, creating more space. Inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, slowly take the back knee down. Interlace the fingers with the other pinky in front. Sink your hips forward. Back toes are tucked under. Exhale, lift the back knee. Inhale, lower. Keep the hips as low as you can. Exhale, lift. If this hurts your knee, don't do it. Inhale, lower. Exhale and lift. Inhale, lower it down and reach up. Grab a strap if you want to use it. Put it on the back foot and then sink the hips forward. Left form to left thigh, you can stay with that, drawing the right leg in, or bring the elbow out to the side and up, and sink the hips forward, maybe also holding the strap with the left hand, or some of you might even reach back for the foot. That's possible too. Draw the front ribs in again, lift up through the back ribs as you sink forward. Make sure the left knee stays over the ankle, and if it's hurting your back knee, remember, pad up the knee. Let's release. Eventually it won't hurt the knee. Come back to plank because you actually go past the kneecap. Now we're gonna slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Knees can come down first, of course. Untuck the toes. Inhale for Shalabhasana. So lifting up, locust. Inner thighs spinning up. Press the pubic bone down gently. Lift the belly up. Take a breath here. And release and rest a moment. So we'll do the same thing in a moment and then we'll add Dhanurasana bow pose, optional of course. So it's important to keep length in the lower back so tailbone will reach to heels. Inhale, lift everything up, inner thigh spin up like you're holding a block between the legs. Either stay with Shalabhasana or bend the knees. Reach for the pinky toe sides of the feet, lifting up, pressing back. Breathing here into the chest a little bit. Keep the belly lifted and release and rest. So we are working up into some bigger back bends. So we're doing lots of stretching in the quads, hip flexors, shoulders. So sliding the hands underneath you. We're going to come onto the forearms first. Hips right above the knees and then walk your hands forward. This is Anahatasana. Your chest is pressing toward the floor. The biceps, the inner upper arms are lifting up. The triceps, the outer upper arms are wrapping down. Press a little extra weight into the thumb and first finger sides of your hands. It's a big chest opener and upper back opener. So let's come out for dolphin. So you can always interlace the fingers or forearms on the floor. I'm going to use my little infinity strap again because this thing's kind of cool. <laughs> so palms are flat, straps right above the elbows and lift up and press back into dolphin. So same rotation with the arms. Now the tricep triceps are spinning back toward the feet. The biceps are spinning forward toward the hands and then press extra into the thumb first finger sides of your hands. Looking forward, step the feet back about a foot, bring the hips about as low as your shoulders. Dolphin plank. Use your belly muscles. Lift the backs of your knees up a lot. My hips could be down just a little bit lower in this one. Breathing here. And then 
Walk the feet in, lift the hips up, back to dolphin. Stretch out your shoulders once again. And then back to the knees. And remove the strap. So we're going to work into wild things. So if you have things off to the sides of your mat, move them out of the way in front or behind. So wild thing, we come from side plank into it. But first, make your way into downward facing dog. And then as you inhale, we'll come forward into plank, pull in the belly, feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of your right foot and lift up your left arm. When you're ready, lift your left leg up, take the sole of the foot flat behind you, reach your left arm forward toward the front of the mat and stretch out the whole front of your body. It's a nice posture. And then come back into plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog, tuck the toes, exhaling to downward facing dog. Inhale again back into plank. So be sure to use the leg muscles and the belly muscles a lot. Roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot, right arm up. Then lift your right leg up. Take the foot flat on the floor behind you. Knee is bent and then stretch toward the front of the mat. Keep lengthening the tailbone toward the backs of your knees. Get nice and long through the front of the body. No compression in the spine. And then we'll come back into side plank briefly and regular plank, either through a vinyasa or just lift the hips to down dog. So in a moment, we're going to do that again. But first, let's take a little break. So we'll come back into side plank in a moment, back into wild thing. And then you have an opportunity to come all the way into full wheel or Urdhva Dhanurasana. You might want to watch first if you've never done this before, or you can just come along with me. So from down dog, we'll inhale and come back into plank pose. Make sure to lift the belly, lift the backs, the knees, step the feet together, roll to the right, lift up through the left arm, left leg back and down, and then parallel the feet, bend the right knee as well. Look for the floor, take your left hand down, and then pick up your right hand and point the fingers toward the heels. Make sure your feet are parallel and your spiraling thighs in toward each other. Then first, spin the right fingertips forward, then lift the left hand up and make your way back into down dock. Stretching back. Here we go, left side. Inhale, plank, feet together, roll to the left. Lift the right leg up and step it behind you flat. Then take the left foot flat, parallel the feet, reach the right arm up and over, look for the floor, press it down, and then left fingertips point to the heels. You actually have to pick your left hand up to come back out of it. You have to again pick the left hand up, swing it around, fingertips face front, and then the right hand can come up and make your way over into downward dog. So you can push pause and do that again. You can play around with it or you can join me now in a child's pose or perhaps child's pose first and then play around with it. Up to you. So always remember it never matters if we get into the pose or not. What matters is we are focused and we try and that gives us some, a little break from the chatter of the mind. Let's come back into downward facing dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, press up through the hands and feet. Exhale, tuck the toes back into down dog. We'll start to cool down. Step or hop through to seated. Extend the legs, dandasana. Hands by your sides, pull your toes back, draw your belly in and lengthen. And then from the back of the right knee, pick it up, right leg, right sole the foot to the left inner thigh. Reach up, inhale, turn toward the straight leg, exhale forward. Inhale, create length, exhale to extend. So instead of thinking head to knee, think belly to thigh and lengthen, lengthen. If it's hard to reach the foot, you can always use a strap or you could hold on to your leg instead. Inhale is head up and exhale to release. Then straighten out your right leg, bending the left, left sole the foot to the right inner thigh. Inhale, arms reach and exhale forward. Again, inhale to create length and exhale to extend forward. Instead of rounding the back, we extend. 
Make sure to pull the right toes back as you extend forward. Inhale, lift the head, exhale to release. And then we'll take both feet to the floor, We're gonna roll onto the back. Draw the knees in, we're gonna take a twist, couple different options, arms to a T, option one. Drop both knees to the left and look over the right shoulder. You can stay with that or cross the right leg on top of the left for a deeper twist. Or option three, bend your bottom leg, reach for the foot and then reach for your right foot with your left hand. The right leg extends out, the left leg remains bent. It's a bigger twist. I'm breathing here. And any variation of the twist is wonderful. Come back to center. Hips to the right slightly, drop the knees to the, or sorry, hips to the left, drop knees to the right. That's option one. Option two, left leg over right. Option three, the right knee bends, reach for it with your left hand. Bend your right leg and reach over with, or sorry, left leg, right hand. Yikes. Every inhale, see if you can find length through your spine. As you exhale, maybe you'll twist a little deeper. Come back to center. Take your hands to your low back right at the top of the hips and just lengthen your your buns toward your heels. Then extend the legs out, let your feet flop open, arms by your sides which are with your palms up. If your lower back doesn't feel comfortable because we did all those back bends, bend your knees and put your feet on the floor. Shavasana. So I'm gonna read our quote and then I'll give you quiet time. So this is a quote from Jackson Kittard. Patience, child, patience. Remember, life is a journey. If you got everything you wanted all at once, there'd be no point to living. Enjoy the ride. And in the end, you'll see these, quote, setbacks as giant leaps forward. Only you couldn't see the bigger picture in the moment. Remain calm. All is within reach. All you have to do is show up every day, stay true to your path, and you will surely find the treasure you seek. Make some movements to reawaken your body, fingers and toes, stretch out through your arms and your legs. Big breath and then bend the knees, roll yourself off to your right, pausing a moment here for gratitude for all of our blessings. And then making your way up to a comfortable seated position and take your palms together. Let's bring our hands up to the forehead reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Bring our hands to the heart center, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communication, sending out positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Don't forget to please push the like button and subscribe to our channel. 
and we're starting something new. It's a class of the day. So a lot of people have been doing the 90 days or the 30 days and are like, well, I still want to practice every day. What should I do next? So what you can do next is go to fightmasteryoga.com and there will be a class of the day. It won't be a brand new class, but we've got a lot of classes we can recycle. Plus we'll continue a new class every Monday. So join us on fightmasteryoga.com. You may as well sign up for the mailing list while you're there. It's not if you, if you don't mind. And if you can afford to help us along with our mission of getting yoga to as many people as possible, please donate. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.